After devastating floods in the southeast of the U.S. damaged roads, devastated communities, and knocked out electricity to over a million households, hundreds of individuals are still unaccounted for. Since Hurricane Helen tore across the region and was eventually downgraded to a tropical storm, the death toll has kept rising. It is anticipated that the number of confirmed deaths, which stood at 135 as of Tuesday among six states, will rise. At least 40 of the fatalities occurred in western North Carolina, where 300 roads are still closed, making it difficult to conduct rescue efforts and distribute critically needed food and water. About 50 volunteers were working to distribute supplies to the worst affected sections of the state on Tuesday afternoon in Statesville, North Carolina, which is two hours east of Asheville. The workers were housed in an old flat red brick building. Stacks of everything from dog food to toilet paper filled the once empty area. A number of desperately needed water cases were also stacked around, some of them as tall as the volunteers themselves.